TwinAble.org presents Mathematical Literacy Data Handling. Right, this is the handout that um, that is available for you to print, and it is about um, data handling. So I'm going to break it up into smaller bits and basically go through the work with you. So let's quickly. Um, go into or just zoom in okay uh, you get uh, data is uh, divided into different types the first type of data that you get is num uh, that we differentiate between numerical and categorical data now numerical data is data that are numbers so it is a set of data of people's ages for instance or their shoe sizes or their dress sizes so it will be one two three four five or it will be um, uh, people's ages 13 14 13 and a half uh, or it can be different times okay so that is numerical data um, the word number, you know, so numerical. The other type of data is categorical. So th this is data that are not numbers. Um, for instance, people, uh, scholars' favorite colors. So white, blue, green, purple, or uh, students' favorite drink, milk, juice, a fizzy drink, water, etc. Okay, so that would be categorical data. Now, this is important, especially when we have to choose which um, graph we're going to, to pick to represent data. Okay, so you have to be able to distinguish between numerical and categorical data. Then, data can, a uh, numerical data can be differentiated between continuous and discrete data. Okay, now continuous data is data that flows into one another. For instance, ages. Ages between 0 and 1, 1 and 2, 2 and 3. Or people's lengths between 1,2 and 1,3. Between 1,3 and 1,4 meters. Between 1,4 meters and 1,5 meters, etc. Then discrete data uh, can only be whole numbers. For instance, the amount of pets that people have in a house or the amount of children that are in a class or, for instance, the amount of children that can go on a bus or the amount of um, shirts that is in a laundry. Um, you uh, you you'd uh, can't say one and a half pets right you either have a pet or you don't so that's why it's whole numbers so this is discrete data remember we also came across this when we uh, did graphs discrete was represented by the dotted line and continuous by a, 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 conti a straight line a whole line right now let's get to an exercise classifying data right now um, I'm just quickly going to run through it and maybe it would be good if you do this by yourself also right so it says state whether each of the following sets of data are categorical discrete numerical or continuous numerical right motivate your answer the first one is mathematical learners test results in percentage 35, 53 and 89. Now because this is numbers, it is definitely numerical data. But because we have comma 1, comma 7, comma 4, it is continuous numerical data. Right, number 2. Chocolates preferred by women. Now because we have different words here, it is categorical data. Question C. 
Ages of people using internet daily. 23, 56, 47, etc. Okay, because somebody can be 56 and a half, this would be continuous numerical data. Number of animals at the animal welfare each day of February for a certain year. 55, 56, 54, 55, right? We can't have half an animal, so therefore, oh sorry, therefore it is discrete numerical data because um, we're talking about the amount of animals, but we can't have, we only have whole animals. Then, um, numbers of hours it takes to complete a certain task, 3, 5, 2, right? This is definitely numerical because it's numbers, but we here we have two and a half. So, it will be continuous numerical data. And then lastly, question F. Topic investigated is bottle of water preferred by learners. It's all the different words, right? So no numbers here. So because it's words and not numbers, it is categorical data. Right, and that is the first exercise. Thank you very much.